Welcome everybody to Usual My Television's Toy Showcase channel. Today we are discussing Hasbro's culling of the line of 3.75 inch, the death of 3.75 inch movie line. It has been around as it's called 5POA, it's called the movie line, it's called the movie slash TV line, whatever you want to call it it's going to be gone. There's no reason why a company would want to kill off something that is good. But I know they have their reasons and we'll dig into them in this video. Behind me I've got all the Disney lines Force Awakens, Rogue One, Last Jedi, Solo and Resistance. Plus there is the tubed, the Galaxy Adventures ones. I never collected those because they didn't come on a traditional card back that were in a plastic tube and they were mostly repacks. Having said that, Galaxy of Adventures is going to go full force, bug, <laughs> and they're releasing a 5 inch line. The 5 inch line is the scale that's going to replace this movie line. I've been doing research into other videos and seeing where Hasbro have decided to do this and how much they have mentioned it to other YouTube channels which I'll share with you on here. The evidence is looming. Force Friday looks like there is no dedicated movie line for Rise of Skywalker, Jedi Fallen Order, or the one we wanted, The Mandalorian. All of the characters from those shows will be integrated into the Vintage Collection. They'll be part of all the VC numbers. This is VC21 with the Gamorrean Guard. That's an exclusive. Lots of exclusives in this line. How many more exclusives are we going to get? I know. If for Hasbro it was difficult to continue on with this line because of sales, that's not their fault and I'll tell you why. They were selling okay up to a point when it got to this movie and this movie sort of broke the camel's back. This is the one, The Last Jedi, the very divisive film that not everyone likes. I am not a fan. There's little bits of it I like. The look of it is good. But the story is rubbish. It, it, it is something that annoys me. <laughs> and it may annoy you too. And what happened there was people who bought the action figures, the casual fans who bought the figures, stopped buying them. And we saw tons and tons of them hit clearance bins and look at all these figures they're made and nobody's buying them. And most of the ones that left on the shelf were 3.75 inch. Hux, Rose Tico, lots of rays. And it was quite sad that just nobody wanted them. And therefore Hasbro's went on to develop the next line, which followed this, and no one really wanted the follow-up. And then everyone bagged out the Resistance cartoon, and no one bought that either. And they're on clearance as well. So that's why Hasbro killed it. It was actually to do with a bad movie, not to do with a decision, because Hasbro is all about, we're going to make some money, how are we going to do this? So with this 5-inch line that's coming, it's dedicated to kids. The collectors, like me, we're going to be left in the cold when it comes to the movie line. We'll have our vintage line. We'll have retro line. That's also what's hanging around. There's my retro Vader. This line's continuing. Vintage line's continuing, but they're the only 3.75 inch. So how did I find out about this? First up, we're going to go to Star Wars Action News video from the San Diego Comic-Con convention where the Hasbro team sat on a panel and told us this. All right, and uh, Vicki, do you want to tell them a little bit more about our three and three quarter? Oh, yes, I do, as All a matter right. of fact. So um, these are the five inch figures, but you know, we, whenever we launch a new figure expression, we often hear from fans, well, what's going on with three and three quarter inch? So we just want to say we will continue with vintage and retro to be kind of the home of the three and three quarter inch figure expressions. So therefore, not mentioning the movie line and saying how they're continuing forward in the retros and the vintage hunky dory but this five inch line is going to be magnificent let's just see how sales go we'll go on to steel wars next and he had this on his youtube channel now one of the new lines that was introduced was the galaxy adventures five inch yeah. figures yep. i'm interested the black series figures are a six inch scale super yep. popular they sort of changed the game for star wars collecting 
what was behind the decision for, for me like the thing to do would be like hey let's make it six inches so they can fit with the black series figures is there some sort of playability that's more around the five inch figures for kids or what was the decision behind that the specific sizing yeah. in particular yeah um, Sam could speak yeah. to that more than I could I can tell you why <laughs> People, people like the products. Yeah, so, yeah. Yep. Sometimes. Sorry. Yes. Um, yeah. No. Uh, okay, well, why, why the inch down? So in terms of five inch, it was really more of seeing as inch up versus uh, inch down. So it was definitely something that was always intended to live independently. It's a completely own stylization, and it's really more about being able to celebrate kind of the, the heritage and kind of uh, the agnostic version of those characters. So you know, Han Solo as he comes to life in the entertainment um, of the Galaxy of Adventure shorts. And so it really is about aligning something really unique. It still keeps scale as a very, um, you know, realistic component. So you'll find that Chewie, you know, towers appropriately over uh, Han Solo and mm -hmm. Vader towers appropriately over, you know, characters of smaller scale as well. Yeah. Um, but ultimately being able to really find a, a scale that was appropriate, um, that was really playable for kids. Yeah. Uh, three and three quarter is something that, you know, we've, we've done for 40 years. It's been successful for 40 years, and ultimately, you know, really being able to have that live on, but to a more dedicated fan base, really letting it be celebrated through the vintage collection and more casually through things like retro. Mm -hmm. um, but letting Five Inch really kind of be the, the home of uh, playability for kids. It's, you know, they have great articulation with over 24 points, uh, but then ultimately also being able to have these fantastic action features that are really character appropriate. So being able to have Han, you know, quick draw and fire from the hip, having Vader be able to slash his lightsaber, Chewbacca to do sort of this overhead beast throw uh, and then having C-3PO more appropriately fall apart um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know it's all about driving sort of what's the the right scale that's appropriate to kids and not necessarily thinking uh, collector first but still offer a great way of you know expanding into like an additional collection and letting them live on their own I don't think um, you know, the expectation is to have these live amongst your six inch figures, but it can certainly be a, an accent with it, um, whether you're casual or sort of a diehard collector of, you know, picking these up. How far ahead have you guys planned the line? Like, it seems like kids talk, like the more kids focus things, they have a shorter lifespan. Is that because kids grow out of them and then you've got to remarket to a new series of kids? Well, you know, um, we when we announced these yesterday, we announced these four figures, but we also shared that there'd be a diverse lineup coming mm -hmm. later this year, so definitely more to come on this. Nice. Yep. He seems a little bit more optimistic than the rest of us about how wonderful these five-inch figures will be. Sales will dictate how they will eventuate. Will you be collecting them? Let me know in the comments down below. And the last indicator is from this video, also Star Wars Action News. This is the question posed to Hasbro again. And then also part of the panel yesterday, you talked about the new Galaxy of Adventures yeah. figures being in the five inch scale. Are those gonna be in the action figure aisle or are those gonna be over like with the play school figures? Cause they reminded me, I mean, I've been collecting a long time of the old Jedi force line that you did in the five inch scale that was kind of, had a similar styling, but those were over in like the play school aisle. These will definitely be in the action figure aisle again. It's the action figure aisle is not intended just for uh, collectors and adults of ourselves, but uh, absolutely is intended, uh, you know, for uh, the uh, an older and younger audience as well. Um, so absolutely, you'll be seeing those in the action figure aisle. Again, they certainly a broad appeal in terms of what those offer, in terms of offering something a little bit. Um, you know, more stylistic, uh, but ultimately reverting back to those very specific characters. Great range of articulation for them, and again, an awesome action feature, which does not hinder the articulation, which was really important. Something that you find a lot with those, you know, younger ones is that it is it is an action feature first and a figure second, but these are certainly intended to be action figures uh, that also have a great enhancement by way of the action feature. With the Galaxy of Adventure line going five inches, does that mean outside of the retro collection there is no five POA three and three quarter inch line then in Star Wars? Outside of the retro collection, that would be correct. Okay, that's the, I think the first time since you started the uh, five POA line back in I think eleven or twelve. It's been yeah, it's been that many years. Wow. Apparently this has been in the works for a while, perhaps when we had Steve Evans 
at Hasbro. Well, he's still there, but when he was in the Star Wars area, he was campaigning for this scale because it's been around for 41 years. Why take it away from us now? And now that he's moved on to do Power Rangers and other things, those guys have decided to make some critical changes. And those changes, if they're not done by people who are collectors and done by people who are going after the money, it seems like they think kids still buy these things. And it's the adults who do, the kids can do, but they're just, yeah, they've got other things going on in their lives. That Action figures are a thing of the 20th century, but guys like me, we still collect them. We love them. We keep them in the packets. Some of you have taken them out, of course. Now I want to take you to a podcast, the Galaxy of Toys podcast. And you'll hear the thoughts of their special guest, Jason from Yak Face, talk about what's going on. I don't have any vision of this, so it'll just be a slate on the screen. As you know, podcasts, just listen in. Here you go. Next, um, just oh, just yesterday, I got a mess on our little message group. I got someone mentioned that uh, some early samples of the rise of Skywalker action figures were found. And my first response was, picks or it didn't happen, to which I think it was Jake instantly forwarded me like five or six pictures of a Canadian find at a Canada Toys R Us of looks like the first wave of the rise of Skywalker figures and a couple of Galaxy of Adventure figures. Um, we got a Luke. I'm not a Luke. Ah! We got a Ray, a Kylo Ren, a Jet Trooper, who I think is new. I don't think we've seen this before, a Jet Trooper. Um, not officially, yeah. Right. Uh, and then what were the other two? Uh, was it Darth Vader and Chewbacca. Chewbacca and Chewbacca. Okay. These are five inch figures. Well, the last show we were debating whether the rise of Skywalker would have a three and three quarter inch line. Um, people have been telling us, and it's just a coincidence that Jason from Yak Face is on tonight. I didn't really <laughs> invite him on to talk about this. Um, but I'm going to start with Jason. What's going on? What are we looking at? Um, this is Hasbro's new <laughs> plan, I guess. It's it. I I'm baffled by it. I I've known about this coming since January. I had a posted a teaser up there back then saying, "Hey, uh, there's going to be a shift in the action figure scale to this five inch line." What I didn't know at the time is they are not. What I didn't know at the time was that these figures are more articulated than your standard five POA figures or even the Disney store toy box figures. Um, these have nearly um, black series level articulation, but they are a more animated style to represent how they come across in that galaxy of adventures series. Um, but again, they're five inches and it's, after 40 years of Star Wars action figure collecting, the two months before the movie launches, you're going to come out with a new scale and not have the standard three and three quarter inch line, uh, other than vintage collection, obviously, represented in your toy aisles. That that boggles the mind <laughs> to me. So, but yeah, this... I th basically what has been happening since the force awakens came out and the return of the vintage collection, you were getting two lines somewhat cannibalizing each other because you've got the same figures coming out in the same scale at two different price points. It's like people, parents, let's say who were buying the cheaper, five POA figures weren't spending the extra five bucks to get the vintage version, you know, which came later, but there was some cross, there was character overlap and that's a Disney problem not not necessarily a Hasbro problem because Disney says, Hey, we're going to release, we're going to need these characters released in these different lines. Sorry, you can't make who you want, but we're, we want these characters out in it. it. It's the action figure line, I think suffered because of that. Um, so that's basically what it is. They didn't want to have two, three and three quarter inch 
figure lines competing for retail space at the same time. So they did away with the 5P way, which, you know, a segment of the collecting public hated anyway. They got something which they, for a long time, they're saying, hey, just get rid of 5P way and devote those resources to make more vintage collections. Well, that didn't happen, obviously. They made this new scale for this new initiative. And now we don't have a movie line for the rise of Skywalker. And it's like I said, it's, it's nuts to me. Thank you for watching today, everybody. I hope you guys find some solace in, yes, this is the death of 3.75 inch action figures. It's sad. It's, it's annoying. It's frustrating. There's not much we can do about it unless we just tell Hasbro after force, Friday, everyone will be there on Force Friday, be, walk to the shelves in the stores and be like, where's the movie line? Where's the, the, what we expect to see every single film that comes out? It should be like this with the blue logo. You know, it should be, it should be just this size, same size card with the blue logo, Rise of Skywalker. The figure will be depicted on the card. You know, the, the characters will be there. It, it does, it's not that hard. They could have done it just for one more film. Why kill it? Why? The only hope we do have is this rumor from Yakface is the Skywalker Saga collection. Have a look at those. He is not too sure whether they are three and three quarter inch or five inch. If they are three and three quarter inch, we may see them look like this two packs because they're doing one for each movie. The whole nine movies will have two figures from each of them. This is this is the best one ever. <laughs> That's one of the most recent ones. Solo ones, they didn't, oh, no. They also did a two-pack, even in Resistance. That was probably the last two-pack you'll ever see until these new ones are coming. That's our only hope to think the 3.75 is still alive, but don't hold your breath. Thank you for watching today. This has been a very long, arduous research video. I'm sorry it took a couple of days to come out, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button, <laughs> as other YouTubers say. Stay tuned for more content. I hope to have something positive and cool coming up really, really soon. So looking forward to sharing some new news and some new figures that have been leaked. <laughs> My name is Usual Mike. My affiliate is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles for all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, WWE, and all sorts of sci-fi. Check them out today. Link in the description down below. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. I've worked out the bugs of that Instagram app. Ugh. And if you'd like to send some fan mail, it's up there. P.O. Box 957 Lisbon, New South Wales 2480 Australia. I've got a bit of merch, chuck it up on the screen. All my shirts available in my Red Bubble store. If you'd like to buy yourself some merch, check out the link down below. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. <laughs>